everyone. Please let this be a normal field trip. With the frizz? No way! Oh no, the tire. I wish I knew how to change a tire. I do. <laughs> so make sure your emergency brake is on and get into a flat and safe location off the road and make sure to call someone responsible. Mama Frizzle, my bus broke down. Place a textbook or something big in front of the tire that is diagonal from the flat tire in order to keep it from moving. First thing you want to do is get the owner's manual. It's usually in the glove compartment, but ours is here for some reason. Uh, it tells you where you can find the tools and how you could use them to change the tire. So this is the wheel nut wrench, and you use this to remove the lug nuts from the tire. And this is the jack handle. How you use the jack handle is you connect the hook into this circle, and you can spin it to make the jack elevate. And the jack is just a giant screw. And then there's the spare tire. And you use the spare tire to replace the flat tire. Now we're gonna loosen the lug nuts. If you're not strong enough to loosen the nuts, make sure you use your body weight because you're heavy enough. <laughs> <laughs> Once the lug nuts are loosened, grab the jack and the jack handle and position the jack at the jack position as shown right here. Once you have it positioned in the correct place, you can Put the jack handle into the jack and just uh, spin it to the right in order to make it go up. And elevate it until the wheel is off the ground. have the tire off the ground, you can begin to remove the lug nuts. Make sure you don't lose them, so keep them in a secure place near the tire. Okay. For the sake of the video, we're gonna leave one nut on. If you remove the tire after you took off all the lug nuts, you can align the spare tire um, and align the holes in the spare tire with the bolts right there, as you can see. Once the spare tire is on, use your hands to thread the screws onto the bolts and make sure it is on correctly. Don't leave the jack on too long. It poses a safety hazard. So as soon as you get the lug nuts back on, begin to lower the jack. <laughs> Once the jack is removed, tighten up the bolts. You can use your body weight again. <laughs> With the spare tire, make sure to get to a mechanic immediately because it's only for temporary use and it wears out. And also make sure not to drive over 30 miles per hour because it's not designed for speeds above that. Put the flat tire back in the trunk so that way when you get to the mechanic, he can replace it for you. Make sure you put everything in the right place. So just in case your bus breaks down next time, you know where everything is.